Hi guys, myself Vijay Tawadar and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of solids. And an example problem is like this, a tetrahedron of 55 mm size rests on one of its corners such that an edge containing the corner is inclined to HP at 50 degree and VP at 30 degree draw its projections. Now according to this one has to construct the tetrahedron. So tetrahedron is going to be formed by joining four equilateral triangular faces. So for which one has to consider the triangular face of size 55 mm first. So we will go to a line command with a thickness of 0.5 mm. One will construct a side length of 55 mm and then using the midpoint symbol one will go to the length of 55 mm. Now one can see that we are going to get the tracking points. By the help of that one can construct the proper triangle like this. Then make use of a line command with 0.13 mm as a thickness. Draw any two medians with respect to the opposite corner midpoint and a line like this. And once it is finished using a 0.5 mm from the intersection one has to complete the slant edges of the tetrahedron. Then make use of the smart dimension show that the size of the tetrahedron is 55 mm. Now to draw the front view with 0.13 mm as a thickness all the necessary projectors have to be drawn till the x y line. Now the axis is supposed to be extended to a, a unknown height like this. Now this height is drawn with the chain line form and after drawing this as a chain line form then make use of a line command sorry uh, then make use of the text command start naming the respective corners as A, B, C and this is going to be O as well as O1 and then the front view is supposed to be marked here so this will become B dash as well as A dash then we will be having O1 dash and then this is the corner we are having C dash. Now after which we have marked the respective things. Now to, to draw the tetrahedron the axis height should not be equal to 55 mm remember that the slant edge is always 55 mm because all the six edges of the tetrahedron will be always 55 mm. Hence for go for a circle by center point command with a thickness of 0.13 and a continuous line. Wherever we will find a corner take that as a reference and set the radius value as 55 mm and we must draw an arc like this. Now this arc is going to represent the axis height but remember the axis height will be taken as 55 mm arc radius not with respect to the height like this. So we will go to the distance between command. Now the distance between these two points is 44.91. This height will never be given in the tetrahedron. Please do remember this properly. And then once we get that position that is going to be the apex point will be marked as O dash. And after making this as O dash complete the front view with the thickness of line as 0.5 mm with respect to the visibility and invisibility. Now one can say that the front view is completed in all aspects. Now after which the resting edge uh, so the edge which is passing through the resting corner makes an angle of 50 degree to HP as well as 30 degree to VP. That means O dash C dash is supposed to be inclined to HP at 50 degree. So for which one has to select the front view like this and along with the axis and then make use of a move command. Move in such a way that with respect to the corner C dash and it should be repositioned anywhere on the X Y line properly at convenient distance. Then go for rotate command and make sure that C dash and O dash is going to be the reference point. Now one should shift this to position angle and the position angle must be taken as 50 degree directly. And don't go for rotation angle as 50 degree. Straight away give the position angle as 50 degree then enter. Now one can see that if you are having any doubts go to the angle between command and measure this angle it is measuring as 50 degree. Now the slant edge is, the slant edge which is passing through the resting corner is inclined at 50 degree. Then using a line command with the thickness of 0.13 one can start drawing the projectors and complete the top view properly.
then we have left out as b dash a dash we'll complete that b dash a dash also now angle is supposed to be taken as 0 degree not 90 sorry because it's a horizontal projector and I make use of a text command name this corner as a b c and this is going to be sorry that is going to be c and that is going to be o1 and this is going to be o1 and this is supposed to be o so we'll mark this corner as o then afterwards one has to complete the boundary line <coughs> now to complete the boundary go to a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter with a to o has to be joined and o to b and b to a is supposed to be the boundary like this and after joining the boundary line when the solid is seen from the top the observer cannot see the base properly when compared to the apex hence the base edges must be invisible that is a to c and c to b is going to be the invisible now such of the slant edges which are passing outside the visible base are also invisible <coughs> and then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 and a chain line format join the line o to o1 so that is going to represent the axis and after which one can say that the second stage is completed now whatever the edge which is passing through the resting corner is inclined to hp at 50 degree the same edge is also inclined to vp at 30 degree henceforth we should measure the length of the resting edge oc now the oc is going to be measured as 35.35 millimeter which is inclined to vp now now this is an apparent length the true length is measuring as 55 millimeter now for which one has to construct an apparent angle so to construct an apparent angle make use of a line command and construct the true angle first then make use of angle between command show that the true angle is 30 degree and after marking that as 30 degree true angle then make use of a line point command and relocate that point anywhere that point is going to be the c anywhere on the 30 degree line then make use of arc by center point with 0.13 mm thickness take that c as a reference and the slant edge true length is 55 millimeter and with respect to the 55 millimeter one has to draw an arc and then at that point o we have to draw a locus and then get the apparent position of the o with respect to the c now the apparent length is 35.35 millimeter and then we have to draw an arc like this and after drawing an arc like this then join the line from c to o and then make use of angle between command measure this angle which is measuring as angle beta as 51 degree now with respect to o and c it has to be shifted to the angle beta and then we have to complete the solution so for which one has to select the top view and then make use of a move command move with respect to the corner c and c is supposed to be fixed on the c over here and then make use of a rotate command rotate in such a way that c is fixed and o is going to be shifted on the angle beta line where the o is going to be represented and after which make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.13 and start drawing the respective projectors so we'll connect o to o dash and then b to b dash as well as a dash so we are going to connect it b to b dash as well as a to a dash is going to be connected so here we shall lock the angle as 90 degree and then the extension of the axis whatever is there we can trim out to avoid any confusion so we'll by zooming this and we will remove this also and then uh, the remaining is o1 as well as c so c is going to be projected up to the x y line and o1 is going to be projected to the o1 like this now one can see that all the necessary projectors has been completed then make use of the text command start naming the corners so this corner will become a dash and this corner will become b dash and this corner will become c dash and this is o1 dash and this is going to be o dash and after marking all the necessary corners 
one can complete the boundary so using a line command with the thickness of uh, 0.5 millimeter a dash to b dash b dash to o dash and then c dash to a dash is going to be the boundary like this and after forming the boundary now the base is nearer to the observer when compared to the apex hence the base edges are visible that is c dash to b dash is visible and then such of the slant edges which are passing either partially or completely inside the visible bases invisible that is nothing but o dash a dash is one of the slant edge which is going to be the invisible and after which the remaining is the chain line which is to be represented from o1 dash to o dash in the form of a in the form of a chain line this is going to be the axis representation now one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects according to the given conditions now if you have any sort of doubts to solve this problem feel free to contact me and also kindly share this video to all your first year engineering students and also please do subscribe to my youtube channel and thanks for watching this video once again